you see I've got the 351 Cleveland out of the Mustang. I'm going to start breaking it down, taking the plugs out right now. Um, I removed the, uh, the balance uh, loader that was attached to uh, attached to the uh, heads. I put them on with these bolts. I don't know what the heads on. Um, so I'm going to start pulling apart right now. I'm just taking the, taking the plugs out um, and then I'm going to uh, uh, then I'm going to start taking the manifold and the other parts off, so I'm just going to kind of leave the tape running a little bit. I think it's something I'm mentioning. I know. I'll just keep, uh, keep on working here. Um, it took a little bit to get the, to get the engine out. Um, had a little bit of a binding situation with uh, trying to loosen up the Loosen up the bolts for the torque converter, and it's been clearly been taken out of the car so many times that they were kind of stripped back. As I'm doing this, I don't see how big you can see those, but that's pretty well worn, and that's probably the best one. So, uh, we'll, uh, we're gonna have to replace those. And I'm looking at the flex plate, and I'll do a close up of that later on. It looks like those have a little, little bit of a chewing on the teeth. Um, so I'll probably just I'll end up replacing that too. Um, and then of course the stalled torque converter depends on what I actually find when I pull this apart, what we have to do with the engine and horsepower and whether I want to leave it in there. I'm not even sure what's in there. I think it's just a standard C6, which I think is a 2500. Uh, which might be good, depends on what we end up doing with the engine, but uh, I'm going to get the plugs out. I'm going to go ahead and start taking everything else off here. Um, I got, uh, sorry, you saw my previous videos. I already had this taken off. So I just kind of, when I was outside, I kept it from getting rain out. This is a monsoon season here in Tucson. We do end up with a lot of rain, so I'm going to fill the engine up there with water. So. But now it's in the garage safety sound, got the area set up, and then I'll uh, go to town and do some work. Get back to you in a minute or two. Alright, so right now, I'm going to take off the front stuff here. So, fuel pump, water pump will pop off the distributor. Um, and then, uh, if I get to it tonight, I'll drop the oil pan, uh, the oil pan, uh, and uh, just preparing for the mess here, and uh, we'll get started. Um, everything looks, uh, you know, um, there's no cracks in the block that I can see, but that uh, it'll, that'll get that'll get uh, sorted out when we when I get it to the shop and get it looked at. But so right now, I'll be taking all the front stuff off, and uh, I'll. Uh, Update you in a bit. Just a little another piece of action here. Got the bracket off for the power steering uh, pump. Uh, got the uh, got the uh, fuel uh, pump off. I'm gonna label that all up and get it tucked away in the back. I mean, it's gonna get a new one anyway, but I'm just gonna keep them off for now and get rid of that. I don't know if you remember back when I did the walkthrough. This is a lot less complicated than there. This hose never was a lot less complicated. It was a lot more complicated than it is right now, but that's still all got to go. So we'll get rid of all of that here. Coming up. Or stripping down here. Water pump's next. That's going to be messy, so i got to brace myself for a big mess. Okay. So if you're taking a quick look, it looks a bit different than it did. Um, I've got the pulleys pulled off, uh, water pumps off, thermostats out, um, the brackets off the front. I'm going to stop for the night. Um, I've got the, I've got the uh, intake all unbolted. Uh, it's just on there pretty good, so I've got to get a little persuasion on there to get that uh, rest of the way off. So that'll come off next, the distributor will come off next. Uh, and then probably I'll drop the oil pan 
and then uh, at that point, I can get a good look at the engine. Again, my main goal is to not make a mess all over the garage floor, so I'm doing pretty good at that so far. Um, so there's more water in there to come out. Um, not sure the best way to do that. Maybe, maybe pop a freeze plug. I don't know. Well, I think I'll wait on that just to see what I'm doing. But you can get a good shot in there. You can see the timing chain in there. So we'll get all that off and broken down. And uh, see what we got. But anyway, this is a lot of fun. So I'm going to keep at it. Uh, get it all torn down and get the block out of here. Hopefully I can get that done within a week, depending on my work schedule and uh, how much time I actually spent out here in the garage doing this. So um, There we are. That's it for now.